Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another event guide. As you know, the Hallow's End event just started recently. Uh, it's active every year from the 18th of October to the 1st of November. In this video, we're going to go over the meta achievement, Hallowed Be Thy Name, which gives you the Hallowed title and progress towards your Violet Protodrick. On the right-hand side of this video, I'll have buttons that link to each sub-achievement in case you have some already. Make sure you have annotations enabled or it won't work. Also, it should be noted that this is from an Alliance perspective. The event is the same for both sides, but they'll just be in different spots. For the Horde, the main hub is located outside the Undercity, and for Alliance, the event is located outside of Stormwind City. There are 11 achievements in total we'll be going over. Let's start off by hitting two birds with one stone with the Tricks and Treats of Azeroth and the Trick or Treat achievements. Throughout Azeroth, various inns will have candy buckets that award you with various goodies. Click on one to get the Trick or Treat achievement. 90% of the inns in the game will have a candy bucket, and I'll have a link to a map in the description of this video that shows every location for both Horde and Alliance. For the Tricks and Treats of Azeroth achievement, you have to get every candy bucket in the Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, and Outland. This achievement is the most time consuming out of the 11 we need, so make sure you pick up 300% flying speed if you haven't already. Once again, check the description for a link to every candy bucket so you can plan out your route too. From these candy buckets, you'll be getting uh, many different items. Some of these items are needed for other achievements, so make sure you don't throw them out. Make sure you save a toothpick, all of your nerd candy, and your tricky treats. Next we have the That Sparkling Smile achievement. This one's pretty simple, just use a toothpick that you got from your candy bucket run to net this easy achievement. Next we have Nerd Rage. You should have plenty of pieces of nerds candy from your candy bucket run. Consume one of these to get the nerd buff and hop into any battleground. Grab 10 honorable kills while you have this buff active for the Nerd Rage achievement. The best battleground to do this in is probably the Isle of Conquest. Ashron is also a good choice if that's more your style. Next we have the Out With It achievement. After your candy bucket run you should have stocked up on plenty of tricky treats. Eat these quickly until your character throws up to grab this achievement. The amount is random so just keep chugging them until you get it. Next we have the Bring Me The Head Of Await achievement. In your dungeon finder, check for a dungeon called the Headless Horseman and queue up for it. It's just a single 3 minute boss fight in the Scarlet Monastery. Uh, you don't need a minimum eye level to get in, you just have to be level 100. Kill the Headless Horseman to grab this achievement. Next we have the Savior of Hallow's End achievement. Outside of each major city there will be a low level town hub that's under siege from the Headless Horseman. Outside Stormwind, Goldshire is under attack. Outside the Undercity, Brill is under attack and so on. Somewhere in the hub, there'll be a quest giver that asks you to put out all the fires with buckets of water. This quest is not soloable, so try to wait until prime time to do it. You don't need to group up for it, it's just that the fires will spread faster than you can put them out if you're doing it by yourself. If you manage to fend off the horsemen and save the town, turn in the quest for the Savior of Hollow's End achievement. Next we have the Check Your Head achievement. From killing the headless horsemen, you may have picked up some weighted jack-o'-lanterns. For this achievement, you need to throw these on the heads of each race in the game. There's 12 in total, and to get the opposite faction, you're going to have to queue up for a battleground or just head into one of the neutral cities like Dalaran or Shatrath. If you're short on jack-o'-lanterns, you can always buy some off the auction house. Next up is the Rotten Hallow achievement. Outside of Stormwind for Alliance and outside of Undercity for Horde, there'll be a group of NPCs that offer four different dailies. These are all fairly straightforward. For these, you have to light the Wicker Man near your city, clean up stink bombs in your city, Extinguish the Wicker Man from the opposite faction city and drop stink bombs on the opposite faction city. Turn in all four of these dailies for the Rotten Hallow achievement. Next we have the Sinister Calling achievement. This achievement is pretty luck based. Uh, you have to get both a Hallowed Helmet and a Sinister Squashling during the event. There are three sources for these items. You can get these from the loot filled pumpkins that you get from killing the Headless Horseman once a day. They can also drop from the handful of treats that you got from your candy buckets and you can just buy them from the candy and toy vendors outside your main city, uh, Stormwind for Alliance, Undercity for Horde. Both the Hallowed Helmet and the Sinister Squashling cost 150 Tricky Treats each. I recommend you do this achievement last because chances are if you get all the candy buckets and you do the Headless Horseman event every day, you should be able to get these before the event is over. You don't want to spend 300 Tricky Treats on these and then end up looting them anyways. Also keep in mind that buying the Squashling off the Auction House will not give you credit for this achievement. And finally we have the Masquerade achievement. From your Candy Bucket run you probably picked up quite a bit of those uh, transformation wands. There are seven different ones and the goal of this achievement is to get transformed into every single one. We have the Wisp, the Leopard Gnome, Ninja, Bat, Ghost, Pirate, and Skeleton. 
The only catch with these wands is that you can't use them on yourself, so you'll have to find another person to help you out with this one. Check your group finder. There are usually groups dedicated to getting this achievement. Uh, you can also just ask in your trade chat, and I'm sure someone will be willing to help you. And with that, you should have the Hallow's End Hallowed Be Thy Name meta achievement and a cool title to go along with it. Like I said, I'll be doing guides on every holiday meta achievement, so if you like this video, check out the rest of my channel or look in the description of this video for a playlist that will eventually contain every holiday guide. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace!